Okay, it's uh, 827 a.m. It's barely in the morning, but we got a lot to do today pretty much I have an exam today. I have a, another Japanese exam and My original plan was to wake up at 4 have my routine and then from 5 to 7 study However, I woke up late. I woke up like around 640, you know, which is really surprising because I went to sleep very early like I went to sleep like around 9 so I should have had like around 9 hours of sleep so I mean I guess I needed that extra sleep however right now it's about to be 8 30 I'm on my way to school right now my class like the exam starts at around like 11 30 meaning that I have like about three or four hours to study and well the thing is I also had to ditch another class I had to ditch a class like I have another class around 8 30 that's what like I had like another class but I'm gonna have to ditch that one in order to study for this exam so not ideal but uh, we make moves on the fly if there's anything you should take out of this video is plan ahead you know not only plan ahead but also plan ahead with knowing your performance pretty much like if you know that you usually wake up like around 6 a.m then so plan your day around waking up at that time because if you try to do something different something that's like out of your comfort zone then the chances that you're gonna perform that it's gonna be kind of low like for example today today I plan to wake up at 4 but I'm used to waking up like around 5 or 6 I didn't plan that like I thought like I thought I could do it you know I overestimated myself and it's important to know that it's important to know your limits it's important to know how much you can do I just realized I think I might have forgotten <laughs> I might have forgotten my gym shorts if I did that that's gonna be really bad because yesterday I skipped the gym as well you know the reason for that is because last week I went to the gym non-stop like I didn't take any days off so yesterday I took a day off not because I was tired because I wanted to spend more time working on my YouTube videos and also my, my class assignments my homework I think I really needed that day off because once again not because I was tired but like I got so much shit done like I edited like two videos I made like a couple thumbnails I recorded two so pretty much I, I did a lot yesterday you know, it really takes you into consideration how much time the gym takes. Because in reality, like, you wouldn't think the gym takes that much because, you know, you spend a lot of time doing it. I mean, not only do you spend a lot of time doing it, but it's also really fun. And, well, you know, when things are fun, things are, things go really fast. But, like, now that I think about it, the gym takes, like, a long time. Because, like, for example, I have to drive there. Okay, actually, before that, I have to put on my gym clothes. I have to like at least have like a meal like I have to have a meal in me because you can't go to the gym without eating anything so first food then the clothes then driving there and then the extra two hours that you do at the gym for most people I feel like two hours is like more realistic like one hour of weights and then like a couple minutes of cardio like around 30 minutes okay never mind I take that back an hour and 30 an hour well I mean yeah, an hour and 30 is more realistic. But I like to say two hours because, you know, you don't want to work out with, like, having to be rushed, you know? You don't want to work out with the pressure of finishing quickly. So that's why I just, like, straight up just spent two hours at the gym. But, uh, time management is something that, uh, I thought I've always been good at, um, time management. But I've been realizing something recently, actually that I'm good at time management if I can control my own schedule. And I feel like that's a lot of, I feel like that's kind of relatable for most people because you know, if you make your own schedule, then you will want to prioritize the things that you know you can execute correctly. And well, if somebody makes a schedule for you, you know, that person's not really gonna know your performance output. You know, when, like at what times you're gonna be able to perform the best. That's why you should always make your own schedule. You're not always gonna be able to control that, of course. Like for example, at a job, they might want you to... Yeah, well, watch out for that. You, you good? Good thing I caught you, right? No, yeah, at a job, you might want to work with like the schedule that's best for them because they have that schedule for, for like that reason. You don't really wanna mess up the company's schedule, you know? I mean, if I could say anything, it would be the fact that you control your schedule when you work for yourself and you perform to your max capacity when you work for yourself, when you make your own schedule. That's why, I mean, I'm not suggesting 
that you should do this but I'm, I mean I feel like like having a job where like you work for yourself that, that would be the like the most ideal working for another company is like it's cool and all but like god damn it but like working for yourself that's where the money lies because most of the money that you earn for like your company or like from your performance came from you and you get most of it anyway that's all I wanted to say right now right now I'm gonna Hopefully I do well in the exam. Today is leg day, so you know that's gonna be fun. And yeah, I'll see you once I'm done with everything and I'm I come back from school. <sighs> long day. Well I mean not, not really a long day. It's been it's been really fast. So right now it's actually just it just turned three. And uh I'm not happy to say this but I did not do good in the exam. How did I know? Well, because I, I left some parts blank, which is never a good sign. But yeah, it's never it's never a good sign to leave parts of the exam blank. It's surprising because I started studying at 9. So throughout 9, all the way to 11.30, all I did was study, right? So that was like about uh, 3 hours of studying. And that, that was still not enough. I think I overtook the exam for granted. And... I'm gonna have to make up for that. Sucks, but not only that, I also lost my water bottle. So that meant that at the gym, I literally, whenever like I was thirsty, I had to leave my machine and go to the water fountain and drink water. So once again, that's kind of annoying. And then not only that, I was expecting my paycheck like to transfer to my bank account like around, around one, right? I still haven't gotten it. I still don't have a paycheck, which is really upsetting because I want to start planning ahead. I literally only have three dollars right now and it really pisses me off. It pisses me off re even more when I was eating my food. What I was eating was so bland. Literally, I was eating oatmeal with like six whole eggs. It was supposed to be eight. <laughs> it was supposed to be eight eggs, but it spilled on my backpack. Some eggs spilled on my backpack. So, you know, that's fun. It's fun to clean uh, a dirty backpack where you keep all your stuff it really got to me actually like it, it really pissed me off at the moment when I was eating my food and it pissed me off because it's like I really can't afford like I really don't have the financial stability to afford good food that is something that I'm not cool with again once again messed up it's funny because uh last week I uploaded this video it's like setting new goals we're gonna be consistent gonna be doing all these things but it's like yeah you can work hard you can't like you know do the work and have discipline but discipline is not really as effective if you don't really have time management skills what I should have done is like not edited yesterday I left the editing for like this week's Thursday and instead I should have like studied yesterday that's what I should have done and leave the editing for later but you know I was I was anxious, you know? I wanted to have the video ready to go. So, I spent like around four hours editing it. And then, you know, I didn't really study yesterday. So, if I switched those things up, then I would have probably done better on the exam. You know, the only thing that stayed consistent, and the only thing, like, it was like the highlight of my day, like the most fun thing, was um, the gym. It's funny because, no matter what, the gym is always the most consistent thing in my life. It's a little sad to say it, but it's true. It's like, I could have like the worst, terrible day, have bad grades, you know, lose some money, lose my job. But as long as I have the gym, you know, that makes everything worthwhile. Today was legs and, you know, even though I didn't have like the best day, I still had a good gym session. Today I ended up doing hack squats, um, lane hamstring curl. I did calf raises. It's been a while since I've done calf raises. It's funny because the only reason why I did calf raises is because after I was done squatting, I wanted to like take a little bit of a break before I went to uh, my next heavy exercise, which was leg press. So, you know, I went to do something light, something that doesn't really affect my legs. And well, calf raises was like the best option. So after calf raises, I did leg press and after leg press, my 30 minutes of cardio. No PRs today, I just wanted to get a little bit stronger. Just wanted to do a little bit of exercise. 
you know, I, I do uh, I do miss something though. I I've been feeling a lot more uh, lonely recently. Not gonna lie, and that was especially the case when it came to my gym session because the entire time I was like, damn, today would be a good day to have a, a gym partner. You know, I'm uh, I'm gonna see if uh, I can go with a friend tomorrow. Tomorrow I got a chest. It's gonna be fun. Today was a little bit of a, a reflective day too. You know, I got to see, like I, I was really questioning myself what aspects of my life are holding me back. Because it's like, it's not social skills that I lack. It's not speaking skills that I lack. Cause I've been improving that. Like I think like right now, better than ever, like I have good speaking skills. Like they're the best that it's ever been in my entire life. With that out of the way, I don't know what's holding me back. Well, I mean, I have an idea actually. It might be consistency, which is really shocking to me because for the longest time, I've been really consistent. But I think I have an idea as to why this is the case. I think it's because right now, I'm not working on something that I'm passionate about. On the previous semesters on school, I always had like, a subject that I really liked, like my film classes or like anthropology, I don't know why, but I really liked anthropology. And most of those classes, I showed up like every, every class, I showed up in every class. But this semester, that's not the case. This semester I've missed a lot of my classes. I missed uh, even my film class, which is really surprising. And I think that's due to YouTube. One of the biggest difference um, in my previous semesters was the fact that either I uploaded very little or I didn't upload anything at all. Alright, so a little update. Um, my phone overheated, um, but I got my paycheck. Pretty much, I got like a 500 around there. I just realized the person next to me is probably looking over here. So right now, I'm gonna go get groceries. <laughs> at least there is uh, one positive about, about today. Still, regardless, to my point earlier, even though like you can have discipline and consistency, if you don't have time management, then all of that effort is gonna go to waste. So manage your time and take today as an example. You know, today I didn't manage my time correctly and I ended up and I ended up doing badly on the exam. So take that as a lesson. Um so with that, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Um I'm gonna do these every day, the card talks. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna say every day, but I'll come up with something. I'll come up with something up. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new or if you like my channel, and always remember to live your life like there's no tomorrow.